hooked up. What is going on my YouTube family? We are in Miami, baby, and it is a whole vibe, let me tell you. I don't want to go back home, obviously. I mean, who, who would? You know, nothing against, you know, Louisiana. I love my state. But man, Miami, I don't know. Wouldn't mind a future here, but check it out, dude. Right now, I'm in the Miami Canals. I launched that Coral Reef Park, and there's a little spot I've seen up the way here that I'm gonna try. Like I said, I have two dozen shiners. I'm gonna throw those on the Zepco setup. Also throw a silver spoon and a swim beat. The Storm, yeah, I believe it's a Storm Swim Beat 360. That's it. And yeah, that's enough of that. Let's get started. Stand up. Peacock on, let's go. And I don't have my net. <laughs> there he is. There he is. Yes. Yo. Oh my God, bro. Oh, hold up. Oh my goodness. There he is, ladies and gentlemen. That's what we're here for. Man, that's a strong fish. The peacock bass, baby. My first one. <laughs> that is awesome. Oh, I'm about to catch a tree. <laughs> oh my gosh, yo. That is a beautiful fish, bro. That is so sick. What a blessing. My first peacock bass. All right, my buddy. Thank you for the fight. Look how beautiful. Wow. Let's go. Yeah, Miami is insane, yo. Beautiful aquarium fish. Beautiful water. Beautiful scenery. Iguanas on the land, head nodding you. <laughs> like, what the hell? Am I still in the US? Like, really? Come on, man. What a vibe. Let's go. Ah. Get it if I dump the GoPro. Let's see. <laughs> oh, I 
How cool is that, bro? That's a big parrot in the tree right there. Hold up. Hold up. Wait a minute. That's what I'm talking about, bro. When I tell you Miami is the place to be. Oh, goodness. Flying off. There's another one. Bro, that is so awesome. Oh, woo. Miami's the place to be, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Wow. I love it. Where's my Corona? I need it. Finally was able to get out the wind. Let's see what it's looking like. It is hot. Whew, man. <clears throat> oh, just got a hit. Oh, how did I miss that? Hooked up. Two. Dude, rip and drag like a redfish. What? <laughs> That's a tank. Hold up. Oh. Oh, dude. That's a big one. Oh crap. Oh, how did I miss? Oh, go back. Oh. <laughs> ah, got him. Y'all, oh, it's been hot. Fish number two, baby. Peacock bass. Man, what a beautiful fish, bro. I wish we could have these in Louisiana. And they're strong as hell too. Like I, I'm not gonna lie. Like I've watched videos and I've seen guys fight them and they'll rip drag. I'm like, man, tighten up that drag. It's not that serious. No, no, no. It's, it's serious. It's a strong, it's a strong fish, dude. That's awesome. Yes. Let's go. Fish number two. Yo, there's a big snake chilling over there. <laughs> not really worried about me because he's uh tanning a little bit but <sighs> strong fish man okay as as for this snake i'm gonna show out a little bit for y'all all right ah hold on let me identify him it okay yeah that's a water snake okay he's not venomous so i'm gonna go ahead and catch this dude for y'all Am I crazy as hell? Yes, I am. But you know what, baby? We're in Miami. It's hot. Wind blowing. And I got the yak out. I say we go all out for this episode. Okay? All right. Again. Oh, man. Shit. Oh, crazy as hell. Let's see. If I can get close enough to him. He's really not too concerned with me. Oh, hell, man. Oh, 
I've done it before, but it still give me the creeps. Now look, I've owned ball pythons, but this is a wild snake. And they not too happy, they not friendly. There's his tongue. He's letting me know he's aware. He's smelling. Oh my God, y'all. Oh boy, I'm crazy, but I'm gonna do it. Oh, this sucks from the kayak though. I would be a lot more confident if I was on land. And there he is. He's like, what the hell going on? I gotta get this snake. Hold up. Oh. Oh, don't move your body like that. Cuz, don't do all that. Oh my God, Lord have mercy. Oh, got him. Ah, okay, you gotta wait. <laughs> so, I'm under a bridge, obviously. <laughs> That sun is just beating on me. So I decided to take a break. Probably gonna fish this for about 10 to 15 minutes. Start making my way back to the truck. Um, also cast as I'm going back to the truck, see what happens. But if nothing happens, then we'll be done for the day. Hanging out with these dudes, they don't really seem to mind. Ooh, hooked up, finally. Oh, that's a tank. There we go. Ooh, man, I was tying up another reel while that was sitting. Jeez. <laughs> Yo, this fish is wild, son. My God. All right, so I was actually tying up a new rig right when this dude smacked the minnow that I had thrown out. Third peacock of the day. I was probably on this bridge for about 10 to 15 minutes. That's such a beautiful fish, man. I can't get over that. Look at that. And as for this guy, I'm gonna go ahead and keep him, bring him to the crib, the, the crib, the place where we're staying, clean him up and see what it's talking about. All right guys, we're back at the house. The trip was cut short because the wife had called and Natalia was stung by a Portuguese man of war jellyfish. So I had to run to the store and get some meds. And here she is. How you feeling, baby? You feel okay? You okay? No. No? no. That jellyfish hurt you? Yeah. I'm sorry. I love you. Don't touch me. It's got jellies on me. You got jellies on you? Don't touch you? No, I mean eat medicine. Oh, okay, baby. I'm gonna get your medicine, okay? Can I have a kiss? Mm -hmm. All right. Wait, the, yeah, so I don't get stung. Yeah. Oh baby, so what I'm about to do is get the peacock, clean him. We're gonna do peacock bass and shrimp tonight. Oh yeah, tacos or just as is? Okay, okay we could do both. Okay, we could do both. No problem. <laughs> Let's put it on there. And honestly, I feel bad. I do sincerely feel bad for, I don't know. Like I said, they're gonna be a little dramatic, but there's plenty of them still. I didn't know. Yeah. It's your first time cleaning peacock. I don't know. I wanted to try I don't feel it. As bad. I it's wanted to try peacock for the first time. Robert Eric is on Jeremy for dinner. He tried He did a catch. This is going to be our dinner tonight. Okay. Yeah, true. Sure. You're right. Oh no.
go with a way smaller blade than this. It is a little tougher doing it with this blade. Like you said, the Mrs. Sister blade. Record. Not bad, huh? Be better than I thought. See people you have to do? Just leave it. I will say, just from looking at it, that meat kind of looks like a, um, a sockle. Huh? Perch brown. Perch. Yeah. With a white meat. It doesn't matter. We can cut the red bones out or just, uh, yeah, just pick as you eat. sear it as it is. This is what we have so far. Bell pepper, cilantro, fresh garlic cloves. And I feel like I'm missing something. Butter. Butter. <laughs> Peacock bass. Lemon. And I'm also use... shrimp over here. What you going to use? Tony Sasherin's. Garlic powder, onion powder, lemon pepper seasoning, parsley, pepper. And that's it. Okay. The miss is doing her thing in the kitchen. Shrimp and lemon added to the pan. And here we are, folks. The finishing product. Side salad. Well, this is wife plate. Side salad, wine. Look at that. Shrimp. Oh yeah. Forgot chips and salsa. She went all out. Thank you, wife. You're welcome. Love you. That is such a fresh tasting fish. Oh man, to be that beautiful, to fight that well, and the taste is good, that's a crime. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's just a crime for you to keep it, huh? Yeah, it's a crime. I kept that one, I don't know. Unless, all right, so let me put it like this. I solemnly swear to never take another one from Miami. I do. I swear, I, 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 I solemnly swear, I won't do it. Even though there's nothing wrong with it to some people, but I don't want to do it. Now, whenever we make that Amazon trip, I'm going to do it. But, yeah. So, that's going to be it for this video, my dogs. Thank y'all so much for letting me be a part of your day and all my shenanigans and whatnot. Big shout out to James Webb for all the help. The local guy from Florida. And if it really wasn't for him sending me a couple of the spots that he sent me, I feel like this wouldn't have been possible. So thank you, James. Big thank you to Be Different Designs for the new shirts as well. And guys, if you want those, just let me know. They're $25 a piece. And if you want one, 
just get with me on that. Big thank you to International Alignment Specialists also. That's going to be it. Again, guys, thank you so much for watching. One love, God bless, and as always, I'll see you next time on the water.